hello guys let's let's look at uh, set theory i want to do examples on set theory here you are told that uh, the following information relates to three sets so the first set is the universal set the second set is the set a the third set is set b so you are required to represent this information in a venn diagram we know that a venn diagram is a diagrammatic representation of this information that relates to sets so to do this that's a uh, roman one you draw the Venn diagram like this. This is the Venn diagram. We have the two sets here. So I will have this set A. Then I will have this as set B. I have drawn the two sets being joined because I know and I've seen that we have common elements among the two sets. The trick when you are drawing any sets is that you check where there is common elements, where there are common elements between the two sets. So from there, uh, I know my universal set is here. So I'll start with set A. Set A contains A, B, C, D. Then I'll start with set B. I go to set B. B contains B, C, E, G. I look at, the first thing you need to look at is the common members among the two sets. So if you look at the common members there, we have, uh, we have uh, A is not here. B is here. So this is common. B is common. We have C. C is common member. D is not a common member. E is not a common member. G is not a common member. So I'll write here B. Then I write C. I write C. Then now I fill the other set. The other set is set A. It has A and D. I write A and D. Set B, what has been left out is E and G. So I write here E, G. Now, there are some other members that are part of the universal sets but are not here. And these members are, already this has been drawn in the entire diagram because the rectangle represents the universal set. The rectangle is the universal set. So now A is already there, B is already there, C is already there, D is already there, E is already included here. Then we have uh, G. So whatever has been left out, Sorry, this is for E, G. Whatever has been left out is F, H. Whatever has been left out is F, H. So that means these are not in either set A and are also not in set B. F, H. So you have already represented the information in a Venn diagram. Number two, you are told to find, Roman two, you are told to find a intersection B and show graphically. So this is how you find it. I draw a small graph here. A, A intersection B. So I have A there. I have B there. This is A. This is set B. Remember what we have here. Here we have B. Here we have C. Then here we have E. We have G. Here we have F. We have H. We have A. We have D. So now... A intersection B, these are the common members between the two sets. These are the common members between the two sets. And we know the common members is B, C. A intersection B are the common members between the two sets, which is B and C. So to show this graphically, I will shade the area that has common members. And I say, this is my area that is called A intersection B. Then we can have a we can have a Roman, so this is done. We can have this one. We are taught to find Roman 3. Find A union B. A union B is when you combine the members of the two sets without repeating any of the member. So I'll combine these members to form one set without repeating. So this set will contain A, B, C, D. All the members of A, A, B, C, D. Then I check which member I've written. A, sorry, for B, B is already here in this set. C is already here. D, sorry, E is not there. So I will add E and I'll also add G. So this is my set A union B. To show this graphically, I draw this. I'll draw this. I'll draw set A, this is my set A, this is my set B. We know the members, 
the members that are in both sets is C, B, and C. Here we have A, D. Here we have E, G. Here we have F, H. So now I want to combine the two sets to form one set. So the area I'm looking at is actually this entire area. The entire area is what I'm looking at. Then I can say, I can say the shaded area is A union B, is A union B. I want to draw, I want to do this other one. So this one we, had, we have done. So I want to do Roman 4. We are told to find Roman 4, we are told to find A prime, complement of A prime intersection B. And we show graphically. To find this, the first thing you look at is A prime. A prime, these are the members that are not in A. So the members that are not in set A, we know set, this is our set A. The members that are in not this circle, that are not in this circle is E, G, F, H. So this set contains E, G, F, H. Then B, we know what is B. B contains E, G, F, H. Sorry. B contains B, contains B C, E, G. So now, when you are taught to do intersection, intersection, this simply means members that are common. Members that are common in both sets. So the members that are common in this set, which is a, a complement of set A and set B, that means E is a common member. That's a common member. We have G. G is a common member. F is not a common member. H is not a common member. This means... Therefore, we can say A prime intersection B will be given by E, G. To show this graphically, this is how you draw it. This is how we draw this set to show the set graphically. So here we shall have set A, here we have set B. So we know our members for these two sets. We know the members for these two sets. The members for these two sets, uh, here we have B. C, A, D, E, G, F, H. So we look at where we have E, G. So graphically, this is the area we are looking for. This is A prime intersection B. Shaded area is A prime intersection B. We can do the last one. The last one, we are supposed to find, the last one, we are supposed to find A prime union B. We already know what is our A prime. We already know what is our set B. What it means with a union is combining, combining the two sets without repeating. So we shall combine the members of these two sets without repeating. So let's combine. That means A prime union B. I will start by listing members of A prime. A prime or the complement of set A, we have E, G, F, H. Then I look at members of set B that have not been listed. B, we have not listed, so I add B. C, we have not listed. E, we have already listed. Yeah, G, we have already listed. So we'll not list them again because we shouldn't repeat. So now I can show this graphically which area we are talking about. I can show this graphically which area we are talking about. So the area we are talking about here is, uh, this is set A, this set B. We know our members here. Our members is, uh, this is uh, B, this is C, this is A, this is D, this is E, this is G. It is F, it is H. So, which set contains this? The set that contains this, we need to share. To share. We have E, F, G, E, G, E, G, F, H, B, C. So the set that we are looking at is the set that contains all that.
So the shaded area is A prime union B. So that's how you get that, that's how you get to show in a Venn diagram a union of a set, intersection of a set, or a union of a set. Whether the whether the set has a whether the set has a prime, which is to mean complement of a set, or it doesn't have, you can easily show it graphically. Thank you.